Hello guys and welcome back to another video on the SW channel. Now today is Watford versus Nottingham Forest. Now for me this is going to be a close game because Nottingham Forest they aren't a bad side. Also it's going to be a little bit odd because obviously we had Glenn Murray and James Garner only a couple of months ago and then they both got called back and sent to Nottingham Forest. So I'm hoping I'm hoping that Glenn Murray doesn't just hit me in the face and scores like a hat trick. I swear to God, if he scores a hat trick, I will be pissed. Yeah. Uh, James Garner, I do not know why they called him back. He was sick for us. I like James Garner. So like, I can't, I, I want to see what they've got, but I hopefully, hopefully it's a big win. Like hopefully a two, three, no win, uh, win comfortably today. But, um, yeah, um, I think today is gonna it's gonna be yeah it's definitely gonna be tight, but um I think we'll win. I'm gonna say two one with Andre Gray. I know Andre Gray. He's actually scoring goals. Um, I was looking on Instagram and he scored more. Now he's finally scored more goals than he has had um, illegal gatherings, which is brilliant. Well done, Andre. Well done. Not getting, not getting Watford in trouble. Um, yeah, so hopefully he scores. And I want to see Jao Pedro score or Saar. Or maybe Zinkanagel. He's looked good. Last game, we didn't really see much of him. But when we did, like getting the assist uh, for Andre Gray second, brilliant. Absolutely. He put it through the legs. You can't do that. That's disgusting. No, Zink and Argle. You can't do that. Like, I was like, oh, no, no, no. Calm down, son. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I think we're going to win 2-1. And, uh, yeah, guys, um, I'm going to show you the lineups now. Uh, okay, so this is the lineup. So we have Barkman in goal. He's been solid. Femine, Trustekong, Serralta, Messina... Oh, that's interesting, because obviously Cleverly got injured, and he's going to be out for, what, like, a month, maybe? So we've got Zhao Pedro in the midfield with Zinconagel, Sema, Gray, and Saar. That is, that's solid. I mean, for me, I don't know who's on the bench. Let's see. I wouldn't play uh, Zhao Pedro in centre mid. Oh, yeah, obviously the Watford, the new Watford signing who signed, what, yesterday or the day before, Carlos Sanchez, Joseph Hungbo, hopefully he can get on the pitch, make some more. Jeremy Nagakia, good. Isaac Success, oh, God, he's not a success, guys. I don't know if, like, every time I say something about a Watford player that's bad, they're just going to come on and score. Like, I was talking about Andre Gray never scoring, and he just scores two goals. But, um... Maybe Isaac Success will come on and just score a hat trick. Steep Parisa, he's good. Craig Cathcart, you know him. Uh, Robert Elliott, I'm. I think he should maybe start in goal for one game because it's a little bit of like a, oh we're never going to use him and it's just a waste of time for him. Mark Navarro, I like that guy. And Ben Wilmot, recently when Ben Ben Wilmot's come on the pitch, yeah, it's been really annoying because. What, against Blackburn and the game before that, yeah? He came on, yeah? They had a free kick, at, no, a corner kick, yeah? They put it in the box. Ben Wilmot just does not mark his man and it goes in. So I want to see if Ben Wilmot comes on. No, do not let your man, like, do, he let his man literally bloody go to Greg's, mate. Like, he was he was gone for ages. The, the, like, the striker, yeah? Just moved away from him. Like, there was, like, I don't know. Adam Armstrong was just... Like, metres away. You can't have that, yeah? Uh, but, yeah. Hopefully, no mistakes. No mistakes. Uh, so, yeah, it's a solid team. And let's see the Nottingham Forest squad. So, we have Murray. I was talking about Glenn. He got... I think he only got on against Wickham and... he Or Wickham and Stoke. And he was not good. Freeman... Okay. Not... Oh, bloody hell. Knockout. Everyone... A A A. If you know, you know, guys. Knockart, yeah. So there's been like Watford. We hate Knockart, yeah. So there's been times like oh Britos, uh, when he slide tackled him, that was absolutely brilliant, yeah. But the main moment is with Knockart, the penalty in 2013 where we went up the other end, and it's like here's Hog. I was actually at that game and uh yeah the memories just come back. I was uh, I think I was only like five. 
Um, no, 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 it was 2013, so it might have been seven. Uh, but, um, basically, I was on my DS, and, and, like, just before they got the penalty, I was like to my mum, oh, mum, I, um, I don't really want to play on my uh, Nintendo DS, so I put it down, and then they got a penalty, and I was just, I was just, like, I think that's when I, like, decided I really 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 want to become a footballer I want to be like Troy Deeney he's my idol so yeah Knockart he has a few memories missed the penalty we scored we went to the playoff final and we lost to uh bloody Kevin Phillips uh yeah so let's move on from that um yeah Yates Ghana Bong okay so that is a decent team Ghana Please don't do anything for... Like, Ghana, I... Please don't score. Uh, Lyle Taylor, decent. Jordan Smith. Okay, so Cafu's there. Okay. That's good, that's good, that's good. Um, yeah, so... Uh, these are the lineups, guys. Um, and I will talk to you guys at half-time and tell you what I think of the game. So, like, yeah. See you in a bit. 1-0 at half time. Um yeah, we're playing really well. I think this is this could be the best performance of uh that of the season for, for Watford. Um we played brilliantly the first half. Um the main man that stands out for me is Zinkenagel. Uh Knocker, he's just he's close, he's been there every time. He's been like like, he's just there every time to get the ball off Knockart, which is brilliant. And that's what we need. Knockart, stop being an idiot, yeah? You're already on a yellow card at half time, And you're standing on, literally, next to the ball at a corner, which you can't do because you have to be 10 yards behind. So, if you want to get a red card, yeah, yeah, go get a red, yeah? Get a red, yeah? Um, yeah, Adam Messina, man. Uh, basically, the ball came out from him. I think it might, yeah, from Saar. Yeah, the ball came out from Saar to him. Yeah, and, and everyone, like, the goalkeeper just stood up. So, um, like, it, it's hard to explain. But, um, basically, he's got an open goal. And I'm like, if you miss this, Adam Messina, man, I am I'm bloody going to be annoyed. Um, but he didn't miss. And it, it went straight through the goalie's legs, Adam Samba. Uh, but, yeah, a brilliant half. Um, I think we'll get another one. Hopefully, a star goal, I think. But we are playing really well. Um, yeah, uh, if we win this, we go second. And then Brentford's game against Rotherham got postponed. So, because of COVID, Rotherham players had COVID. So, um, yeah, that's good. Now, if we want to stay second, we need... Uh, well, obviously, we'll still, we'll still stay second. But... To make the gap more, we need Middlesbrough to win uh, against Swansea. So, that's a big game then, which I'll probably be watching. Um, but, yeah, I'll talk to you guys at half-time. See ya. Full-time, uh, a 1-0 win. That is massive for us. We go, into the all, we come, we go second, which is massive. Um, yeah, incredible, incredible. Um, it, was a, it wasn't a great match, but... Um, you know, we take the points. Um, the second half, it was very, very close. Um, um, Barkman had nothing really to do. Um, Isaac Success came on. Carlos Sanchez came on. Carlos, you know, I think he could be good in time. Isaac, he could have literally scored in the last minute, but um, he's, he, you know, he's Isaac not successful. So, um yeah, you know, um, but, you know, we'll take it, uh, next game is next Saturday against Cardiff, we need that win, we need that win, but hopefully Middlesbrough beat Swansea, which means they don't go up, um, yeah, and also, because Rotherham, um, and that Brentford game got postponed, uh, that game goes to, like, the end of the season, which means it's gonna be, they are gonna be tired, and they've also got us, uh, like, the runoff games that we have coming up, we really need to take points. And this is why it was really good to take points from this team. But uh, overall, really good performances. I think that could have been maybe our best performance of the season. For me, man of the match, Zinkenagel. Uh, for me, he just had a, he was just 
incredible against knockout and yeah we kept a clean sheet which is amazing and we'll go again uh thanks for watching my video if you liked it uh like it um yeah i'll see you guys on saturday when it'll be watford versus cardiff bye